Hey guys, Galaxy S3 Motor here. I am here with a tutorial on how to root your Galaxy S3. Alright, in this video, you will need an SD card, such as this one, micro SD card. Obviously, the Galaxy S3. You're going to need the cable that goes to your computer. Obviously, a computer. And this, I'm not using. Well, I'm using this computer, but I have a little cord that connects it to my monitor. So I use this one. Alright, I'm on a T-Mobile Galaxy S3, but it should work for anything pretty much. Doesn't really matter what kind of Galaxy S3 you have. Alright, you're going to need three files. You're going to need the Clockwork Mod Recovery, that's a TAR file, or a .md5 file. You're going to need Team Epic Root from Recovery and Odin. Those will all be available in the description below. Right, before you do anything, what you're going to need is you're going to have to have o Odin unextracted. If it's in a zip file, I don't know which Odin file I'm going to find for you guys yet. But you open up Odin, and the first thing you do is you take the Team Epic Root from Recovery and place it on your SD card. Okay, you place it on the SD card before anything. Before anything. All right. So let's get started here. First, let me show you on my phone that I am running. On a I'm on the stock. You can tell it's a stock Galaxy S3. Settings. Scroll down. About device. Oh, not legal stuff. Status. Normal. Normal status. So I'm not rooted. As you can tell here. You go all the way here. There is no, uh, what is it? Super user. Sorry. It took me a while to think of it. There's no super user. So I'm not rooted. Alright, so what you're first going to want to do, oh, you can unplug this. I'm just doing this to charge. Alright. So you're going to power it off. Just power off your phone. That's it. Airplane mode. Okay, let's go power it off this time. Power off. Okay. Turn it off. T-Mobile, it's time to goodbye. Thank you, T-Mobile. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into download mode, which is hold the down button on the rocker, hold the home button, and the power button at the same time. So down, home, and power. And you'll get this screen right here. This custom OS. Oh, gosh, I missed. It didn't. Accept it that time. Alright, forget it. Hold up. Let me just do it one more time. Shut it off, shut it off, shut it off. And it's gone. Okay, good. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Okay, this screen. Sorry about that. Alright, warning, custom OS can cause problems. Yeah, yeah. If you choose to do this and something goes wrong, you can message me. But it's not my responsibility. If something does go wrong during this process, it's completely on you guys. It works for me. It, it's working right now, and I'll do it a million times over to prove that it works. But here it goes. Alright, so what I'm going to do, volume up to continue. As you can see, volume up to continue. Up. Alright, then you're going to have downloading, do not turn off target, and you're going to have these little things in the top. Which is, oh, this is Odin mode. Right there at the top. Right there, yeah. So now all you're going to do, you're plugging your phone to your computer. And this is for Windows. I don't know if you can do this on Mac. I don't have Mac. So. Alright. So now what you're going to want to do with my computer. Let's go here. Let's open up Odin. I have it in a little icon on my home screen. Here. Odin. Do you want to make the, Do you want to allow the following program to make changes, basically? That's what I'm saying. Alright. Yes. See, as soon as you pop up, it's going to say, COM15, that's your phone. That's what that is. If it's connected to the computer, that's what it is. Alright. So first, these things, you don't want to touch option. You don't want to touch this stuff, okay? Do not touch that stuff. Alright, so now over here, we're going to want to go to PDA, check PDA. Then go click that. And it'll bring up your files that you want to use. So then you find your file, then you find your clockwork mod file which is going to be the .md5 
recovery, LTE, GS3, that kind of stuff. All right, open. It's gonna be right here. Recovery. Then all you have to do is hit start. And it's doing this. Recovery. But it's okay. And once that happens, your phone is going to start doing stuff. To be specific. All right, so the Galaxy S3. It should boot, and it's booting normally. There's no problems here. See, there you go. It's nice. It's going to have your whatever carrier logo you have, or if you're international. I don't know what it does for international. Never used international. All right, but see, it's fine. Galaxy's fine. All right, so you, but now what you're going to see in the settings, though, you're going to see, not developer options, about device, status, go down here. It's going to be scanning. But once that pops up, it's going to be modified. It's going to say modified because you did this to your phone. Once you do this, though, you will not be able to get updates from, like, whatever carry you have. You'd have to flash, or not flash, you'd have to go into Odin and use a custom, or not custom, just a file, a stock file, basically. I'm so used to doing custom, I keep on saying flash and custom for everything. Alright, that'll be scanning for a while, but it's going to, eventually it's going to say modified. But with the rooting, you won't need to go to these software updates anymore because you have custom ROMs and different ROMs you can use. All right, now you take your, you can unplug this right now. You don't need to be plugged into the computer anymore. That was the computer portion. All right, so now I'm going to un take out the, I'm going to take out the back of my Galaxy T-Mobile. Put this down. Plug in or put in the little SD card. Power off my monitor because it's having a stupid glare. Oh, I'm touching stuff. Alright, lock. Alright, there we go. Touching stuff. Make sure it's secure. And you're good. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do. Power off your galaxy. Power off. Shut down. Yes. Goodbye. Fiddle. Right there. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, you can't see it. Sorry, guys. Alright, so now, instead of going, hitting down home and power, you're going to want to hit up home and power. So hold that for a little bit until it vibrates. Then you can let go. It's going to have a recovering booting in a little corner there. No, it's not. Didn't hold it again. What is with me not being able to do that today? I'm sorry, guys. It's way too... Turning it off, turning it off, turning it off. There you go. Okay, it's off. Recovery should be booting. Alright, see? Here we go. That's good. And it will say the kernel. That's the kernel little logo there. That's good. Alright, there you go. This is clock mod recovery. Now first what you're gonna want it to do, always, always, always go down to let's make sure I get zoomed in here. Zoom focus. Alright. You're gonna to want to go to backup and restore. Always and make a backup. Make a backup, because if your ROM, if you flash a ROM, and it's a bad ROM, it just won't load, you're boot looping, you can go here and make a backup, not make a backup, you can restore your backup from here, and it will go back to everything, it will go back to the way it was before, you're fine, you saved your phone. Alright, I don't need any backups, because I have... Well, I can restore mine. I already have my two little backups here, which is my Liquid Smooth ROM and my Paranoid Android ROM from previous uh, routing processes. So you're going to want to install from SD card. Choose Zip from SD card, which is the top one. Right there. Choose it from SD card. And you want to go down to Team Epic Group from Recovery that you put on your phone. And you hit Yes, which is the power button. To select, you hit Power button. And you go down using the little volume thing there. Right yeah. Install Team Epic Root from Recovery. Enter. And it's gonna do this. Complete. And you are now rooted. I'm just going to reboot system now to show you guys that you have super user installed just by doing that. And um basically what you're gonna want to do is nothing else. You're gonna want well, obviously you're gonna want to flash a ROM, that's the whole point of rooting. 
Unless you're just doing it for like the cool like Bluetooth things that you can do with it. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Your feedback has been great with some of my videos. Please go see my other videos once you get this process done. If you have any questions or don't do anything or don't do something right, you can always contact me. Contact me, hit me up in the comments, send me an email, galaxyS3modder at gmail.com. Like, subscribe, please, please, please. And go to my website that'll be in the description below. Because I have a little website that has all my ROMs on there and all my mods that I have so far. Alright, so now you can go to apps. And super user, you have obtained root access, guys. Good job. I'm proud of you. Alright. Thanks for watching. Once again, I really appreciate it. Please watch my other videos. I'm not asking you guys to donate, because that's just... Come on, really? But, hey. Please, just go watch my other videos. I have a ton of ROM reviews, a ton of different mods, well, mods in the future. And Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.